Good afternoon, everybody. It is February 17th, I do believe. Um, just got up to the North Farm. Brought the semi up because, as you know, we were cleaning seed and filling contracts back south, and now we got to continue to clean seed back home, which we'll do. Donovan will do that, and I will be up here filling contracts for the next week. So anyways, it's windy. It's actually only minus 2 degrees Celsius, hence why it's windy. But the wind makes it feel pretty cool outside. So we're in the 930. Haven't ran the 930 since we had it on the grain auger when we were up here cleaning like, I think it was like just inside January. So it's been a little while. And you should see the bird crap on this thing. Holy cow. So look at that. That is unbelievable. Never seen so much bird crap in my life. Like, it's ridiculous, you guys. Holy cow. So, this doesn't normally happen at either location. North or South Farm. You never have this kind of bird crap on something. This is out. This is blows my mind so the only thing that i can think of is it's right beside the big bins where we spill grain check this out this is you know you always spill a little bit of grain right there that's just part of life we were up here cleaning seed remember in january and we parked them here we parked that truck there that truck here and the tractor here because we have everything plugged in so that way we can come up here and we can operate anything at any given time but the downside to that apparently is the birds crap the crap right out of these things. I can't believe it. Like this just boggles my mind. Like if I had a pressure washer up here, if it wasn't in the middle of winter, I would wash this stuff right stinking now. So that is a big pet peeve. Because the rest of my equipment over there in the corner, we're, we're going to go there in a few, um, would not look like this. This is Ridiculous. So anyways, let's fire this thing up. Hopefully it starts. Hasn't been running in a long time. And when I say hopefully it starts, I don't mean because it's cold outside. It's only minus two. The thing was plugged in. I just mean that the batteries are up and all as well. Yeah. Fires right up. Apparently there's a machine service haven't ran the dang thing. Okay, we're gonna let this sucker warm up a little bit. And uh, I would like to plow some snow, but we got no snow to plow. There's no snow up at the North Farm either. This is just like, kind of drifts in here. But we need to drive this thing around and make sure everything's, I like to run everything. Holy smokers, there's stuff beeping at us here. Okay, let's, let's, let's let this thing warm up. As we're warming up here, I just noticed that uh, this, I actually think I noticed it before, but this whole console console is actually on an angle. At first I thought the tractor was, then I kept moving the tractor, and then I'm looking at the, like, this is actually tipped this way. And I'm like, is it like, I keep going like this with it, but I'm like, that is going to really mess up my OCD here. So, like, it's perfectly operatable, but this screen is definitely tipped this way, and it's the whole console. Like, it's, everything's twisted on it. I'm not sure. So, we'll see if I get that looked at or not. But anyway, I've never run this blade because, you know, never had any snow to push. But I was just kind of playing around with it while I was warming up, and this one here is three-point hitch. One of these ones here. Oh, yep. There you go. I'm pretty sure, I bet you I could hit my tire. Yeah, I bet you I could. <laughs> and then, I think, this little splitter valve thingamajigger that they put in here, I believe moves these, these ends around. Nope. Nope. This one? Nothing's happening here. Yeah, go this way then. 
nothing happening. Oh, this one, this one's moving. Okay. It's very slow to go out. That's odd, but okay. Whoa, sorry about that. I'm trying to do everything at one time. It is trying to go out, but that's weird. So, I don't know what middle does, probably nothing. Nope, nothing. So these should be your wings then. Yeah. Maybe I should get out there, something's not, something is not right. Oh, it's windy. Thinking we have a bit of a hydraulic leak. It's actually been leaking for a while. I gotta get a look at it. It doesn't have anything to do with that, but interesting. Look at this. Not even any paint taken off. Brand new, never used. Look forward to uh, cleaning this thing up and putting our carpet in when we actually uh, go into the field here. Yeah, that's up and down. Yeah, that makes sense. Why isn't this working? Yeah. Strange. Very strange. Oh, I must not be doing something right. I haven't figured that out, but I guess. Anyway, I want to go down here to my little cultivator. Apparently it got windy. Blew my little garbage around. Look at that. Well, I obviously got windy. It blew the whole auger over. Right. Too soon. Does anybody see a problem? Mm -hmm. That's hard on my tank. Uh, hopefully it didn't puncture it. It just didn't get, you know, I wondered about this thing getting parked here. I didn't park it, but it's still my responsibility, so we just gotta get close enough to use the hydraulics, and then we have a 50-50 chance whether we're gonna do it, hit on the right way, and shove it into the tank, or pull it away from the tank. There we go. It's gonna get windy out here. Did it puncture my tank? No, not there. Nope. I don't know about that shovel, but it hasn't punctured yet. See, look. Sorry about the wind, but no poop on the swather. Not a one. That thing has just been destroyed. <laughs> don't worry about the hoses. It's got to get rebuilt, but as long as it didn't puncture anything. And I don't think it did. Uh, I don't think it did. All right, now I gotta get it up and not shove it into the tank. All right, I think those are the right ones. All right. Oh, whoo! Okay, now I'm gonna pin it like how it should have been pinned prior. I'll show you where the pins are. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Right. There, see the two holes? That's where a pin goes through. Okay, you get the idea. All right, so we're just pulling away. I think I'm gonna park this thing out here. Freaking long ways away from the birds. It's too late, but. Mike, you don't have power, I know. I should have just not parked it there anyway. Because we do have a Obasco on here, so I can come in here, fire that puppy up, and probably in about an hour to two hours, um, I'd be able to start this thing under insane conditions. So I was just trying to be proactive, but that was a mistake. Learn and live and learn, I guess. All right. That's it. Oh, just, just makes me so upset. <laughs> oh well. 
I gotta go and uh, do some inventory. Now, what I mean by checking inventory is, you know, sticking your head in the bin, giving it the old sniff sniff test. Cause yes, you're right. I got sensors in all these bins. I know exactly what's going on in those bins according to the sensors. But again, they're just sensors and they're just cables. And I have had bin trouble in the past with a hot spot forming on top uh, where there wasn't a sensor properly, wasn't picking it up, or right on the wall actually is where it happened. And a sensor was like, I don't know, four feet away. And it was working its way around the wall. It wasn't on one of these bins, but it was on a bin with sensors and lost about 10,000 bushels of mustard. So it's a serious thing. You get very expensive. So sticking your head in there, taking an actual look and giving it the old sniff sniff. What am I sniffing for? Uh, you can pick up with your nose if something isn't right. At least I can, I got a really good nose. Part bloodhound, I think but it's gonna get really windy here. Whew, okay, so we're physically in the bin, so we can do a little walk around, feel it, smell it, sense it, taste it, whatever you gotta do. Those are the cables. There is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five moisture and temp cables, okay? So, I'll just put my gloves somewhere here, they don't... It's nice and cold, that's a good sign. Remember, I did take it right down to, well, the monitor says five degrees. Remember the frost and stuff that was building up and melting? You can see that this is it here. You can see it built up right along the edge. So that means that there was moisture running into uh, the canola. You can see it really good right there. So what are we going to do? Just gonna take a look at some of this stuff. Here you go, here's a good chunk. Here we go. This is froze. It's because moisture got into it. And then obviously it's gonna freak, yeah, see, look at this, it's wet. It's froze. Again, this is from condensation running down the side of the bin. Now this is gonna be okay, it's just, the canola is good and dry, all right? It's really dry, it's actually too dry. Um, you get paid on weight and it's very, very dry. So this is gonna just blend right off if you're wondering what you're gonna do with it when you're hauling out some of these little clumps. Cause it's not moldy, at least not yet. It would get moldy once spring and summer rolls around or spring rolls around. It warms up the side of this wall, then it could get moldy. But right now it's still winter, still froze. We're gonna start moving it here pretty soon. Here's a clump that's frozen. It's a frozen clump. I would rather have a frozen clump, guys, than have something hot. In fact, it's so cold, it's actually, whew. It's really cold, which is a good sign. My feet are cold, also a good sign. That's what I like to see. So I know what I'm working with. It doesn't go down any further than that. Oh, maybe it does a little bit here. What have we got down here? Here we go. Yeah, so it goes down about, whoo, wow, that's cold. <laughs> that's a good sign. It goes down about a foot and it'd be kind of like this, okay? So I'm up here to haul canola and I'm up here to haul a fair amount of canola. So we're gonna pull all this down and then some of this is gonna hopefully fall down and it's cold and it's gonna blend right off. It won't be a problem. It's not moldy, it's not rotten. And then uh, when we actually empty out the bin, we're gonna bang the walls to get all this stuff to fall down so we can actually properly sweep out our bin when that time comes. So that's what I'm up here for. It's very important to watch your grain. A lot of grain has spoiled for farmers in the bin and that is just terrible you know it's 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 one thing if a hailstorm comes through and it takes out your crop that's that's an act of god that's actually classified as an act of god 
and that is out of your hands. You don't get any rain, you have a drought out of your hands. You get too much rain, you can't do anything with it, again, out of your hands. You put the grain in a bin and it goes bad, that's on you. That's on the farmer. And that, there could be many, many reasons why it would go bad or go or, or spoil in the bin. Could have put it in too tough. Could have had 90% of this dry and put in one bad load. One tough load is all it takes to create a hot spot. And canola, oil, fire likes oil, oil likes fire. You could, it, it's bad. Like you could light up your whole bin if you're not careful. Ruin your bin, ruin everything in your bin. So when we lost that 10,000 bushels of mustard, this was quite a few years ago when we did, and uh, and it actually wrecked the bin. Took the galvanizing, took the galvanized, it's an, oh my word, I can't talk, this is galvanized, and took it right off. And uh, it burnt out from the outside. You could see the black burn spots from the outside. That's how bad it was. And uh, yeah, it ruined the bin. So anyways, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, guys. I'm going to go. You guys have yourself a good one. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, spend my weekend. I keep thinking I hear something dripping, but it's not. It's just the, the roof with the wind. I'm gonna go spend my weekend with my family. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you next week when we get when we get cracking, get hauling. Adios amigos.